Did you know that over the last 50 years, the number of farmland birds in this country has dropped by 63%? Since 1970, the UK has lost 73 million wild birds, and more than one in four bird species is in serious trouble. Farmland birds have shown the biggest decline. How can we help? Just by taking half an hour in February to count your birds, we can make a difference. The Big Farmland Bird Count is the only UK-wide citizen science project to involve land managers in monitoring the state of farmland birds. By taking part, you will be making an invaluable contribution to the scientific knowledge and understanding of our farmland birds and helping protect wildlife for the next generation. I think as many people as possible should really take part in the Big Farmland Bird Count, um, whether that's on your farm or your land, or maybe you've got um, a local farm that you can approach a farmer and get access to, um, and maybe involve them as well in the process. Um, and there's lots of local volunteers who maybe would like to get involved and, and do a Big Farmland Bird Count on your on your farm. And uh, yeah, get your family involved, get your children out there, you know, get them to learn what the farmland birds are, ID skills and... Uh see what see what's out there i had a pretty good uh, baseline knowledge of of our native birds but yeah there's always nice little surprises and you're you're, you're always learning and that's 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 the interest if you're constantly learning it gains your interest and there's a lot to see as well i think when you first start out especially with some of the smaller little farmland birds they all seem like little little brown brown <laughs> birds that you maybe don't realize how many different species are actually using this area and maybe using one hedgerow um, and just turning up in the winter as well you know some of these birds you don't really see for the rest of the year and it's nice to then see them coming back in the winter to use these these areas how many of these birds have we seen already today can anybody spot on here what we've seen Blackbird. yeah Buzzard. yeah Chaffin. definitely Chaffin. anybody Anybody seen a uh, dunnock? Yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah, there's one in the hedge a minute ago. Goldfinch. Goldfinch. Red wings. Grey wagtail. Yep. House sparrow. As a farmer, having been brought up on the farm, you know, lived here all my life, mm. I do feel a little ignorant. You know, a lot of those birds you just named, mm. I would perhaps struggle to identify. So we've had a bird survey done on the farm spring and autumn for the last couple of years to give yeah. us a baseline so we know where we're at. Because yeah. we need to know that all the work we're doing for conservation across the whole farm is working. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of us wander around in the countryside and don't know what we're looking yeah. at. We can't name the trees and the birds or the plants. Yeah. Roger, we've got a lovely flock of lapwings there. Yeah, yeah, that's no, great to see. So presumably they've been around here for a few weeks. Yes, they have, and they pass through at this time mm. of year, often on this part of the farm. Not nesting, I don't yeah. think. They would just be moving through, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, they'll be moving through, and I would imagine that they'll be making the most of all the invertebrates that are on this field here, because you can, they've got access to the bare ground here. There's still quite a few plants and things in here. So yeah, I imagine it's good, good food and foraging for them on this one. So the big farm, the bird count, I mean, we, we call it practitioner science. Um, we've all heard about citizen science. Practitioner science is all about um, farmers, land managers, managers, foresters, starting to capture and collect some of that wildlife data themselves on their own patch of ground. Um, because uh, as well as being extremely satisfying, uh, it allows you to benchmark progress over time as well. So it's the same thing really, you're getting the statistics gathered so you know yeah. how well we're doing. Indeed. A lot of outside forces with the weather, the climate, those sorts of things too, isn't there? In, indeed, and that's why it's really important to collect this data over a long-term period as well, because you can have good years and bad years, but it's those long-term trends that we're, we're interested in. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Here on this farm in the Cotswolds, we're doing our bit to help our birds. And it's really important to build a broader picture of what's going on so we can do the right thing to encourage more birds on the farm. Now, it only takes half an hour, so I'd be delighted if you can join me with GWCT's Big Farmland Bird Count. It's also a great opportunity to celebrate all the hard work that farmers are doing up and down the country for wildlife and conservation. Or a moment to sit back, listen and look at all the wonderful nature that's going on around us.